The city of Fond du Lac has legalized a practice to deal with the area's stray cat population. I'm your Fond du Lac neighborhood reporter, Margaret Cahill, and I spoke to city groups about how this new policy will affect animal populations. It all started about a year ago when a Fond du Lac STEM Academy student brought up TNR or trap neuter release for feral cats at a city council meeting. This is an ideal plan for Fond du Lac. The goal, stop them from reproducing and take the pressure off local animal rescues that trap hundreds of feral cats every year. The problem with feral cats in the city of Fond du Lac has been growing exponentially for quite some time. And when I drive home and I can count eight cats, from here to the other side of the city. After that meeting, the city began to work with animal advocacy groups to develop the program. But the idea was quickly met with concern from bird lovers, who worried that once released, the ferals would eat birds and threaten Fond du Lac's Bird City USA designation. It's no guarantee that this is going to keep us the high flyer status for Bird City. Bird enthusiast Laura DeGolier did not want the city to make TNR its official policy, so they agreed on a compromise. Instead of making the practice mandatory, the city decriminalized it. Shelters can do it if they choose while retaining the option to adopt. But interested groups who do that will not be arrested for what they're doing in the city. But it is not an official policy beyond that. They're allowing it to happen. Animal rescues see this as a big win. We actually had our very first live release last night, which I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> it was Fabulous. DeGolier says they recently submitted their 2024 Bird City application and we'll find out in a few months whether this compromise will allow the city to keep its high flyer status. In Fond du Lac, I'm Margaret Cahill, NBC 26.